Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a quick swap of my NVMe from my main machine that I use to record OBS. I purchased this MSI 2 terabyte, 2 terabyte on MSI's official website because it was on sale. Uh, actually, I picked this up for, I believe it was 85 or something along the lines of that. Uh, usually 2 terabyte right now, NVMEs are running a little higher in the 100 plus range so i picked this up for 80 something it was on sale so i said okay let me just do that since considering my current setup on this machine right now i'm trying to replace the uh, hosted uh, windows partition which is the 256 gig nvme now this is crystal disk info if you're not familiar with that it's a great little app that displays the current condition uh, of of your hard drives, uh, any hard drive actually, mechanical, NVMEs, SSDs, whatever you have, it, it gives you the state, it gives you the condition, it gives you the temperature. I use this a lot because I would utilize all these on these hard drives and you can see on this other screen here, I have tons and tons of hard drives. You see all the reds? Those, that means they're all a high capacity. I, I do this type of um, crypto hard drive farming, they call it. So anyway, I currently have this NVMe all set up, right? All set up on this uh, external dongle that I'm going to be putting back into its enclosure. It does have a USB-A to also a converter that you can uh, either C or A, whatever it is. So that way we can hook this up right now, make sure it detects it and then format it so we can clone my existing partitions with the Windows partition over to this new two terabyte drive. So that way I'll have more space. Now, ignore the three terabyte. That's actually a mechanical hard drive that I utilize for downloads and specifically only for downloads because you know how things are right now. Every time I go to my PC, if I was to fill all this crap up on this 256 gig hard drive, it, it'll be done. It would have been done a long time ago. So anything that I download, drivers, whatnot, all goes to this mechanical drive. So I keep that separation. But what I what I want to do, because when anything from my when I pull from the mechanical drive, you can hear it grind and you can hear it a lot slower. So the reason for me upgrading this two terabyte is so I can call files, edits do things on the fly a lot quicker than calling it from a mechanical drive. So hopefully this will resolve that problem. And the one software that I'm going to be using to do all this is called Macarim. Yeah, that's how you say it. Macarim is a hard drive cloning software that is free. Uh, they have a free trial, actually. It's, it's a paid program, but the free trial is more than sufficient enough to clone this current partition which is what we're going to do over to here so let me just do that right now all right so the two terabyte nvme is plugged in and it's detected so what we're going to do now is launch macrim reflect x you can go to its website i'll link it in the description register for it use a legit email because you actually have to reference that email in order to activate the download. So you want to do that first. Once you have the application installed, it's pretty straightforward. You can just click next, 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 um, default location, and then you'll come to this screen. I know I didn't show it properly, but if you really need to, um, I could do that as well. But once it's installed, this is where we're at. We want to clone the disk. So we do not want to clone my three terabyte. We want to clone the official, well, not official, but the 256 gig, uh, gigabyte OS drive that I have in here, which is this one right here. So this is all of what I want to clone. And I want to select all of it. I want to make sure that I want to select all of it because otherwise the new drive is not going to boot, boot properly. Uh, if you select a different disk, your current operation will be discarded. Do you want to continue? Yes. Select a disk to clone. I had to partition the drive. I had to create a simple volume for the new two terabyte. So it showed up here on the Macrim Reflect X home dashboard. So 
what I want to do next is clone this disk, select a different source, which is the primary partition that I want to drag my copy of the original over to the new two terabyte drive. And then I'm going to select right here. You can see the 1.82 terabyte. That's the new drive I want to. And the other thing I want to do also is copy partitions. And I want to shrink, uh, extract partition offset and length or shrink or extend to fill the target disk. I want to shrink or extend the fill uh, to fill the target disk. Meaning I want to utilize the entire, the entire two terabyte of the drive replicating what I have on the 256 gigabyte NVMe. If I don't, I would copy the partitions as is identically the same size and I would leave out the remaining partition as a blank state drive and I would have to simple volume it, create a new format, uh, format it and then it'll be a different drive letter. It wouldn't be the pri primary partition like it is now, which is, you can see, right? So hopefully that makes sense. So let me just drag this over a little bit more. So what it's going to do is this first partition, like these windows partitions is going to be whatever it is. It's going to create the same identical spacing, which is 33.4 megabytes and then the 16 megabytes. But once it reaches the 237 gigabyte, it's going to max out on the two terabyte as 1.82 terabyte. You see that? You see the difference? Like this is consuming this much space already. But when it goes to the new drive, it's only going to consume like maybe one tenth of the drive. Right. And then the fourth partition, which is another Windows partition, is going to be identically the same size. We're going to click on next. I'm not doing a schedule, so I'm just going to click on next again. This is to review what you're going to be doing. Partition one. Uh, well, our operation one, two, three, and four is going to go through these four phases. And of course, depending on the size of what you have as, as your source, copying over to your clone, uh, that would be that will be dependent on how long this actually all takes. This honestly should not take too long. So once I go through that, I click on finish. Run this in the background now. Best word of advice is to not make any sudden or dramatic changes while this is happening, meaning don't run any programs, work on any Word documents, play any games. You want to capture the current state as static as possible with minimal changes as it's doing its thing. So one thing we want to do is make sure you close out any running application that is irrelevant to the copying that may affect the copying state going over to the new clone drive. I am currently recording on OBS right now. I'm going to put this to a pause and then I will resume so you guys can see what's going on right after it's done. So let me just hit OK. And this is the warning that it's going to overwrite. The following drives will be overwritten. That is fine. Uh, all target volume data will be overwritten. Confirm to proceed. I'm going to say OK. Check that off and then continue. And it's doing its thing. Just want to give you guys a quick update. So currently it's at 11%. So it's doing its thing. And this is the setup right now that we're going to be taking apart in a little bit. So this is the new ter two terabyte that's sitting over there. I have it plugged in on the USB-C. Your option is if your motherboard supports the ability to have two NVMEs, like what my motherboard can do, you can actually put that in and then clone it like that, even though if you do not have an external enclosure like this for an NVMe. Now, the only downside to that is that you have to pull everything out first and then put everything back in in order to do that cloning, meaning the GPU and whatever else you have going on on this machine. But once this is done, hopefully it wouldn't be too painful. I have to take out the GPU, swap out the 256 gig NVMe and put in the new two terabyte. And then, of course, I could use the 256 uh, NVMe as a external storage or you know like another usb drive to transfer files around so right now it's at 17 percent, and i'll come back once this is all done all right everything looks to be intact now 
the F drive completed, which is a replica of my C drive, as you can see here, same directories, AMD, blah, 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 boot. Okay. Now the other thing was it took a total of 17 minutes and 46 seconds. I hit okay. It finalizes, which is great. And now I'm going to have to shut this down, swap out the NVMe, take out the old one, put in the new one and all that great stuff. And then I'm going to reboot it. And then that will be the moment of truth. All right. Stay with me on this one, guys. All right. So there's going to be a few things we're going to have to do. First, we're going to take out the old one, which is right here. Well, actually, no, this is the new one. This is the two terabyte that's going to be that's sitting in here. I'm going to have to take that out. But while that's happening, I have to take out my GPU. And you see right there is the inland. Now, one thing I want to do before I do all that, even because this red light just reminded me, is to power off the main power supply and unplug. There you go. So there's no power running through here. Chances of it shorting right now is close to impossible. And of course, make sure your arrangement of monitor cables are in the same place if you don't want to deal with that later on I usually just place them down in order of how I have it and I'm gonna be taking out the GPU now I was able to get away without having to take out the GPU which is amazing because that saves a lot of headaches so ignore everything that I said earlier but if you feel like you don't have enough room to navigate in here, yes, please take out the GPU. It only makes sense. Now, this is just me installing the drive into the slot, but I also have to reinstall the heat sink that has, that comes with it too. Now you don't want to over tighten that because obviously if you do, it'll shrimp and then it's no longer going to be a happy day. So this is the heat sink or the protector. I don't think this is even a heat sink. I, I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Yeah, I think it does dispose heat. It has this thermal pad here. So Gen M.2, so that's what this is. And it goes right back over inside. If you can see that, it goes right over there. So I'm gonna do that right now. So yes, it was a lot easier removing the GPU which is right over here, uh, 3060 that has 12 gigs of VRAM and I was able to reinstall the plate back because if I didn't remove the GPU, it was just too much in the way and I couldn't get to the screws here and on the other side, which is down right over here, okay? So now I'm gonna put back the GPU put everything back together and the moment of truth would be booting this up and hopefully this clone of the original will boot back up into my windows operating system without any issues a good sign is that it booted up so hopefully everything powers back on we're going to give it a quick second now i i believe because the drive changed it may take a little bit of time to think so hopefully that clears up at least and it's going I hear it, I see it, I'll keep you guys in the loop. And we're back. So my crystal disk info shows that I am on the two terabyte drive. Uh, great first statistics. It's working, it booted. This is the new operating system guys. Well, this is the new drive on the old operating system. So it the cloning went thorough. It went through just fine. I do have my old drive in here in the, I guess the portable. Uh, I'll be able to do that and use that for whatever. Uh, 256 gig NVMe, which is great. And of course you can see here, I am running off of my two terabyte. And I have more than enough space to abuse it now and do more stuff and create more content just so you guys can enjoy. I want to thank you. This was a uh, fun day, productive. Um, I still have a lot of studying to do. So hopefully you guys can hit that like, comment, subscribe, and stay with me. Uh, I'd like to take you guys along some of these little projects as I'm doing. I do have another great video coming up as far as employment and how the job market is currently going. It does seem very, very positive. 
uh, as as much as some of the stuff that I've been posting, but we'll get into all of that. And hopefully this has been a great tutorial or my day-to-day -day activities. All right. Thank you guys for being here and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.